and Senator Hatch, since uh, this keeps coming up about the FBI investigation, uh, I'd like to repeat what you've heard from me so many times, but I guess we never get this, uh, get people understanding. Uh, we, we're, we're, we can't learn anything from the FBI that we can't learn ourselves. The Senate has our own constitutional duty and our own investigators to follow up on these allegations. Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't think we should discredit the sentence. Constitutional duty of oversight is a co-equal independent branch of government. Uh, if uh, the people on the other side of the aisle sincerely want an FBI investigation, uh, I would ask uh, why uh, uh, they did not notify me of Dr. Ford's uh, then confidential letter uh, way back in July so the FBI could weigh in. The FBI would honor confidentiality and so would I. And uh, I've had 38 years reputation of protecting constitutionality or uh, confidentiality of uh, whistleblowers. Uh, uh, another span of time for an FBI investigation is uh, as my Democrat colleagues have called for, or even more recently, people outside calling for, would result in uh, another time of brutal attacks on Dr. Ford and uh, Judge Kavanaugh and their families. Uh, they don't deserve uh, those sorts of vile threats uh, that they're receiving, and it's unacceptable. Uh, Dr. Ford has stated no objections to an FBI investigation. So why has the need for an FBI investigation only come uh, to our attention here in the last uh, several days, probably less than two weeks? Uh, it's been 60 days since Dr. Ford's uh, letter was, uh, uh, Dr. Ford's uh, uh, letter was made public. Uh, then uh, we've had some comment about why we didn't investigate uh, Ramirez. Uh, when I learned of uh, Ms. Ramirez's allegations, I acted immediately to investigate them, unlike our Democratic colleagues, some of whom sat on her story and apparently conducted their own private investigation rather than share it with the committee. Mr. Chairman, excuse me for interrupting, but could we have order? Yeah. Well, in fact, I, I would agree on the order. The order would be that we go back and forth, and apparently yeah. you could have two Republicans yeah, speaking and one Democrat. Yeah. Uh, is that what the chairman I think, is doing? Uh, that's what, a absolutely. Uh, it'll, after I get done, and I'm not giving an opening statement, I'm explaining, as a chairman ought to explain, the work of the committee to people that don't seem to understand it. I'll call on Senator Hatch when I'm done, and then I'm going to call on you, Senator Leahy. Uh, when I learned of Ms. Ramirez's allegations, I acted immediately to investigate them. Unlike our Democrat colleagues, some of who sat on her story and apparently conducted their own private investigation rather than share it with the chairman. I first learned of her allegations when they became public in the article New Yorker, uh, published uh, late uh, Sunday evening, September 23rd. My staff immediately contacted her counsel asking when she was available for an interview with committee investigators. The next afternoon, Monday, September 24, her counsel responded that Ms. Ramirez, quote, has accurately relayed what she recalls to the New Yorker, her counsel, end of quote. Her counsel added, however, that, quote, she would be welcome an investigation by the FBI into this investigation and would cooperate with, with such. On appropriate terms, she would also agree to be interviewed in person, end of quote. Over, uh, uh, over the 24th and the 25th of this month, my staff repeatedly asked Ms. Ramirez's counsel two questions before setting up a call to discuss her allegations so that such a call could actually be meaningful and useful. Whether, number one, whether she had, quote, any other evidence, including other statements, in addition to those that are contained uh, in the New Yorker article, end of quote, and uh, two, whether she was, quote, willing to provide her evidence, including her testimony, to committee investigators, end of quote. My staff repeatedly made clear that it welcomed, quote, 
the receipt of Ms. Ramirez or anyone else's evidence in the form of a letter or email to the chairman or ranking member, a letter or email from counsel to the chairman or ranking member, or a statement to uh, committee investigators. Ms. Ramirez, counsel, has still not provided any evidence to committee staff. If evidence emerged, we, of course, would proceed as appropriate. My staff also acted swiftly to set up an interview with Judge Kavanaugh. He unequivocally denied Ms. Ramirez's allegations. I regret that my Democrat colleagues again failed to timely bring this relevant information to his attention. 